somehow, some way, we're gonna have to figure out how to catch him in the freezing cold pouring rain today. Look at that goofy mercury blob man. He, even he's cold. Look at him shivering. Look at that. <laughs> he's shivering. <laughs> he's trying to keep his arms warm. Look at that. He ain't going too fast. No. Oh. Look, look, look. He's broken. It's so cold out right now. We've had some sleep this morning due to nasty day, but we're jacked up. We're the first ones in the water here. Nobody else is here yet. Probably because they're smarter than I am. Should I show the viewers what the radar looks like? Yeah. The radar's bad. <laughs> it's like really, like I woke up this morning and I like sighed as about as hard as I've sighed ever looking at a radar. 39 or 40 degrees right now. The high is 43 today and like 20 minutes north of here it's snowing. And it's, it's all day long. We got fishing church, it's a Sunday here. We got fishing church, that's our church on the road. Somebody different does it every week. Mark Rose kind of leads it, showing up on a day he's not competing in the pouring rain to, to lead a little little devotional, which is pretty cool. If thou be the son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Now listen to me, folks. Jesus could have done so many things when the devil tempted him like that. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. I am next to General Tire Back Angler, Elton Jones Jr. Had a three pound, three ounce differential. You almost cut that in half. There is no more cut line, it's win or loss today. Yeah, it's a, it's it's all you can ask for is to have a shot. You know, going into the knockout round, I just wanted a chance and we've got that. Full send we go with our top 10 on a chilly, rainy, bitter day along Lake Norman. But for one angler, oh, it will not be bitter come days in. He will win the Red Crest and $300,000. We're starting. So Thrift has retaken the lead with the 112 that he caught just a moment ago and may add to that. Oh, this way or not. This is a large amount there in the middle of nowhere that way. Two pounds, zero ounces. Two pounds, a little large now. So he is back on top, five pounds, four ounces for the day with his three scoreable bass and his three day total is 36.13. There he is. Oh, no, might be number five. It's embarrassing five if it is number five. Not scoreable. Alton Jones Jr. with two and a half minutes left in the opening period. We go to the bottom line here too. All profit. It will be his fourth of the day. That's a good one, boys. I don't know if that's quite three. That's the kind that can win Red Crest right there. Hey, we finally got smart. I said I was going to run new water all day. Three pounds, six ounces. That's a three six. That's a big one, dude. Thank you, Lord. Kelsey. That's for you. My wife is eight months pregnant with our firstborn, the baby boy. And dude, leaving is leaving is hard right now, dude. Oh. It's a baby pack. Alton Jones Jr. Real. goes back to the top with that one. <laughs> We're like three bites like that away from winning this sucker. It was last year to right. Good gummy. That's the second one there. Fish landing guy that was violation. Double whammy there for Alton Jones Jr. Yes, that's, that's right. So if there's anybody in this field now that can reach out there and grab Brian by the neck with a big, big spotted bass, it's Alton Jones Jr. Here's Thrift. He's got him right where he wants him. Two pounds. 
pounds, 13 ounces. That'll work. That's a nice one there, JT. Another one on the chatterbait. Three pounds, zero off. Yes, sir. That's a good one. That is a good one. He's now 4-9 back and needs a 6-5 once he upgrades from his smallest fish, which is that 111 now. I'm going to throw a swing bait and if I get a bite, cool. If not, it's been a great week. He stays in this second spot. This will now so be I'll his third runner-up finish on the Bass Pro Tour. Three, two, one. Lines out. Here's the red crab. Tell me something good, but how, how long we got till we know if I won or not? <laughs> oh my God. Hmm. Lake Norman's been awful good to me. Cody, you give me a hug too, man. <laughs> <laughs> The next one, huh? Hey, Roddy. Week. Is it 50 G? I think it's 50 G's. 50 G's. Not a bad week. No. It's $10,000 a day for five days. <laughs> this was. <laughs> Congrats to Thrift, dude, because he caught them in horrible conditions. Knock on wood, this will be the worst conditions they will fish all year. Dude, second place in Redcrest. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty sick. <laughs> pretty good. So I'm starving. I'm gonna get a bite to eat. Get something to eat. So, man, I'm impressed at how good everybody this week. Yeah. I didn't. I mean, I didn't think he was gonna take as much as it did. I mean, I didn't. I wouldn't expect him to be where I'm at either. But had I caught that one, it at least would have been interesting. What's up, dude? How are you? Thanks, man. I'm practicing basically out there. I ran all new water yesterday, caught 17 pounds, so I kind of went with the same strategy today. Um, and when you're doing that, you got to get a little bit of good fortune. Today we just didn't run, we, we had one good bite, a three pound six ouncer, and uh, when I caught that fish, it was somewhat early, and I was like, okay, three more <laughs> bites away, and we can win this thing. Um, but you know, all in all, it was a great week. Huge congrats to Brian. I just want to say huge thanks to everybody who came out today. This is a great crowd, and uh, congrats, Brian. Let's hear it for a Go. How are you doing? You have fun today? You know, it really isn't that painful, uh, you know, had it gone differently and I'd lost a big fish today that I thought could have done it, uh, might have been painful, but you know, I, I, I think I fished pretty smart, pretty clean this week. I was proud of how I competed. I'm really not bitter. I like, I, we straight up got beat. All of us did by thrift. He, uh, I didn't lose it. He won it. You know, he, we, he caught him really good. Man, what an awesome week. Thank you guys for watching these videos. Uh, it's just beginning. I know five or well, six videos in a single week is a lot, uh, but thank you guys for following along all the way through. We're gonna put out so much content this year, it's crazy. As long as Tyler doesn't keel over from all the content. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Okay, it, he's about to die. Like he's, he's running on like two hours of sleep for a week straight, I don't know how he does it. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Tyler, for producing this. You're the best. And we'll see y'all in the next episode of the Trimmed Up series. Forget Maxent. We got the Lord's Lure Company over here. <laughs> You can't beat it. I'm not supposed to be promoting anybody else besides G-Crack, but I mean, it's the Lord.